Ladies and gents, if you're new to the channel, my name is Kevin. I do stuff on my Audi S5. Do tons of stuff. Brother C63, which you're gonna be seeing here shortly, going to the shop today, actually for a little DIY shop project. As you can probably tell by the title, we are building a detailing bay. The framing is already up, but there is still much to do. So we're gonna be doing that as soon as I get there in about 10 minutes. Woo! That's fun. Just a little, little early morning pull for you guys. It's not even early morning. It's literally 12, 20 p.m. But I had to run some errands earlier, did a little Christmas shopping, but we are on the way to the shop. Let's get the exciting stuff underway. I'll catch you guys when I'm there. Just super quick. I know I said we would come to the shop, but I did want to bring up one point. Wow, that truck was flying. As you guys know, sometimes I do like these vlog style intros and stuff while I'm driving in my car. And I just want to let you know that I am always paying attention to the road. I'm always safe. And I like, I know when I can be on my phone and when I'm not, um, it sounds a little weird, but I have full awareness of what's going on in the situation I'm in driving. Nobody like commented saying, oh, you're an idiot for distracted driving or anything like that but I wanted to bring that up because I almost just hit somebody and it would not have been my fault. I was not on my phone, not doing anything wrong. That's all the more reason I wanted to bring it up because I was going 55 miles an hour just now on this road, which is the speed limit. And I was paying attention to the road as I always do. A car was pulling out from the right side into the left, like oncoming lane. The whole time I was watching him, I thought to myself, you're not gonna pull out, right? You're not gonna pull out, right? guy pulls out right in front of me. I had to slam on my brakes. I honked, I swerved, did the whole thing. Missed him by about 10 feet. And that was a little terrifying, not gonna lie. Uh, thankfully, you know, I was smart about it and it was avoidable, but guys, that stuff happens. Most of the time it's gonna be people that aren't paying attention to the road, not you. As you see, I am pulling into M22 detailing right now to get this uh, shop video underway, but I just wanted to point that out really quick. A lot of parts of the country, a lot of parts of the world are getting snow and ice on the roads right now. And let me tell you, um, a lot of my audience is between the ages of like 16 and 20. Just be careful because a lot of the times you may think you have control of your vehicle, but it's gonna be the factors that you don't see coming or you're not expecting that are gonna be the worst if that makes sense. So things like ice on the road, stupid drivers that aren't paying attention. Everybody just be safe this coming season. Just wanted to yeah, say that. But we're at the shop, so let's get the exciting stuff underway. I have some coffee that turned into a little iced coffee because it's uh, 36 degrees out. Let's go to the shop, let's go inside. Here's the progress with the detailing bay so far. Pro level framing job and then the ceiling. Carson's car is looking pretty in here. Just enough room to walk behind here, have a chair for polishing needs. Evan said they were gonna run electrical, I think through or around because there's an outlet right here. And then he's putting 10 of these lights in. So we've got all the materials. I think he was debating looking at different siding or like walls because I want him to go all black, just a blackout room. Tell us about it. Tell us what happened yesterday. Oh, uh, built these walls. 8 by 14 framed them in, put them up. It was just in the early stages. It's going to look way different, um, hopefully, by this evening. We're going to finish these walls, probably do, might do white aluminum like the rest of the place, put up the 10 LED bars that we have. Like five, five, on five on each side. side. Nice. Where do you get the siding, though? Is Lowe's uh, or something? Lowe's or Menards. All this wood came from Menards. Nice. And then we'll probably frame in more today because it's going to have full ceiling with five more LED strips, but Very those nice. LEDs are on the way. So for today. It's coming together, I see the vision. We're probably gonna frame more of the roof today, finish these walls, install the lights that we have. All right, we're gonna do it all with Carson's car sitting here. Yeah, we're gonna be <laughs> getting sawdust all over it. Mm-hmm, all over the nice, freshly. Look at that paint. That's good, that's, that's nice black paint. Yeah, I'll probably end up moving it and then getting everything done, but. Looks good. This is uh, stage one and a half on the detailing bay. We'll keep you updated throughout the day. These are 10 bucks. 36 watts. 2,700 looms. That's a ton of looms. Is it enough? 5,000 K, that's good. Dude. Hey, this, this is light. It's like two of them, right? What about this? 
I mean, it's super thin. <laughs> Unless you're just looking for like a finish. It might be nice. It might not reflect as much as you want. Cause it's like that textured yeah, finish. This is a little kind of reflective. Ooh. What about this? Do brick. brick. <laughs> Do the faux brick. Dude, that would look crazy for photos. It actually would. Dude, the tile. Here it is. What? The faux tile. It looks like a like the bottom Dude, of a pool at a cheap hotel. Shower. It's got the off-colored brick every once in a while. It's kind of cool. So we decided on the, what is this, eight by four piece brick. of this cool gray color brick background for the detailing bay. It's unique, that's for sure. 26 bucks a pop, not too bad. Oh, that is such a sick idea. Three cars, a little apartment up top. Dude, 55 grand. Holy moly. They're, oh, they're pre-designed. Yeah. Oh, that's not bad. That's not too bad, man. Oh, it's literally half garage. Dude, that's, no, that's still, if you build a garage on that. Dude, 2,700, that is literally a home. Do you think Menards built all this stuff with material they got at Menards? <laughs> this is a giant warehouse. Now, ladies and gentlemen, proper wood selection is key to all building. Now, you can tell a good piece of lumber by the way it is. the walls built the other day uh, a couple days ago and then we put the two by four joists up and then me and Evan decided that that's probably not a great idea because spanning almost 12 feet it wouldn't be able to hold enough weight for storage if people are throwing car parts or different things like that so just like with cars build it right the first time and then you don't have to come back and double up and spend twice the amount of money and twice the amount of times, do it right the first time, bite the bullet, it's not even that much more. We were trying to save like 200 bucks and then we ended up spending an extra $100 anyway, so just bite the bullet. But after this, we'll finish nailing these off and then we'll throw the plywood up top to stop the shaking from side to side. It'll all be locked in and then we'll be able to run the uh, electric lines, drop some lights down, throw up some trim, and start taking some pictures of some cars. Are there gonna be lights on the ceiling? There's gonna be lights, so I think oh, we're gonna nice. line them up uh, directly above where all the lights are on the wall. Get some crazy pictures and uh, be able to really tell uh, with paint correction and everything what's, what's really going on. All right, well, this detailing bay is not quite finished yet, but we are gonna pull the car in because the lights are up. We're gonna get some cool shots right now. Yeah. 